Uh, good afternoon, Zach. Um, quick turnaround for the team, just played on Saturday and then flew straight to um, LA for the game today. Uh, as a player, you know, in MLS, sometimes these congested weeks happen with a lot of fixtures. As a player, how do you handle weeks like this and, you know, ensure that you are ready for games, um, even if, yeah, even when there's a lot of games on their calendar? Uh, it all just personally for, for me, I, just taking care of your body, staying hydrated, uh, working with your, with your staff a lot, um, getting the massages in, uh, pool therapy, gym session, foam roll. It's, it's, I think it's more, it comes down to the individual of how ready you want to be for the game. Um, you know, three, three days before a game isn't unheard of. Obviously, it's not ideal with the five and a half hour flight travel, but it, it it's a, uh, it's not an impossible thing to deal with. Zach, this is your first experience at the Open Cup. Can you talk a little bit about what this tournament means for you and your teammates and how it differs from the regular season? Yeah, I, I actually thought for whatever reason uh, we were going to enter in, in the previous round, but Spencer Childs told me because uh, we made it so far in MLS last year, we bypassed the round. But I was actually watching the uh, – last week's or last round's draft um, of when they pair up the teams and I was just puzzled as why we weren't in that mix but no it's definitely something different um, it's cool to be in uh, a tournament format this early in the season because obviously it's it's a single game elimination and I think it's going to be great um, real competitive we can't tie at the end of the day so I think it'll be a lot of fun. And how do you guys prepare for playing against LAFC, who's become somewhat of a rival for the team within the last year or two? Yeah, we were, I mean, we were just here the second game of the season. Um, it's, we, we know how LAFC plays. We know how they press. It's, I mean, you can say the same thing for them. They know how we play. They know how we press. They know how we, um, we're just both really familiar with each other. And, um, we, we know that they have a great atmosphere in the stands uh, in the stadium and it's, it's always fun playing in LA just because you know it's it's a good good competition good rivalry going off of that I know you're from Southern California how does it feel to play at the Bank of California in front of your friends and family and be back where you grew up yeah it's it's definitely it's really cool it's really cool um, when I started against LAFC, the second game of the year. It was it was a lot of fun. I thought I played pretty well in um, previous times coming to LA. I didn't start um, the previous years. And just, you know, being able to finally show basically my, my parents, my friends that all are in LA, like, like I can actually play soccer because every time you come and watch me play, I'm on, I'm on the bench, unfortunately. But no, it's, I love it here. Um, the weather, uh, you know, the atmosphere in LAFC at the bank, it's, it's great. We'll go back to Sam Spiller. Zach, the team's coming off of a, uh, an improved performance. Um, I think we'll say off after uh, last weekend at, uh, at the Red Bulls. Um, what does the team have to do to ensure that they build off of that going into, you know, the game today and also going into the game um, on, uh, on the upcoming weekend at home against Sporting Kansas City. How does the team ensure that they build off of strong performances like they did on Saturday? I think the best way to, you know, build on something like that, going across the country against, I think they're the second team in the East at the moment. Um, but just keep building upon it. Keep, you know, getting um, confidence with, with everything we do because, it's easy to go into this slump. I think we have six six ties after that Red Bull game, and get in the mindset of, uh, you know, we haven't we, previous to this last game, we haven't scored for this amount of time. Like why? Like why isn't happening? It's easy to uh, point the finger at an individual, but really, it's we had to look um, internally as a group, but at everyone, at, at uh, the defenders, the midfielders, the attackers. 
why why we weren't scoring goals. And I think it was a really big um, big moment for us just to get past that that hump of not being able to score. And I think since that goal came in, I think it's gonna you know get goals tomorrow, get goals next weekend, just build on top of that. And it can't just be from uh, the same people that have scored. I think more people will get involved um, on the score sheet.